Check one, two. Like I said, my last video, I'm prepping for a really great trip out to the end of the month, end of February, second. Morning traffic, Tri-Pacer is back taxi in uh, two six for immediate departure. Morning. Sporties at 3,000. Richmond traffic here, 537 for Tango. Train final, runway 24, Richmond. A little hazy out today, but we do have blue skies, which I'm happy about. Temps at 3,000 feet is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Busy today with all the good weather. We haven't had much. Green County traffic, 5897 Victors, 5 miles to the southeast. Inbound for midfield crossover to left outlet runway 7, Green County. Going like just a month away, I'm I'm gonna do a trip that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna take the tri pacer out west. I think I have 16 days or so. I'm going solo on this. My wife is letting me go away for a few weeks, which is very nice of her. I have some friends, really good friends, that live in Texas. So I'm gonna that'll be my first stop. Last year I uh, met a guy in San Diego that has a pacer. He took me up and uh, we went flying in San Diego in his pacer, it was great. So, love to get back out with him and do some flying. I think that's our plan. I'm gonna take a sleeping bag, a tent, uh, my electric scooter, maybe do some backcountry camping. As backcountry as a non-backcountry person can do. It'd be great to meet some people check out some cool airplanes. I did buy a Garmin InReach. And uh, this is the InReach Mini. And I activated that yesterday. See, I'm gonna get the carbon monoxide detector today. I went to the store and bought some uh, emergency supplies and got a small backpack. I think I'll, I'll go over that a little later on what I what I'm taking of my kid. What else? Oh, oxygen. I'm actually considering getting an oxygen unit for this trip. So, in the old Tri-Pacer, I just feel like it's, uh, you know, when I go on longer trips, you know, I do like, if the winds are nice, a little bit higher, I do like to go higher. And I just think going solo and having access to oxygen, you know, they say it makes you feel more uh, more rested and uh, after a long flight at higher altitudes, you know, even at eight, eight or nine thousand. So, 40s Claremont County Airport, automated weather observation one eight five two Zulu weather wind calm visibility one zero ceiling one one thousand overcast temperature minus two celsius dew point minus one zero altimeter three zero four one claremont county traffic velocity six five for Tango eight miles southeast on train right space runway zero four claremont county we're in two two on the uh, in the pattern Claremont County, uh, Red Tri Pacer, left crosswind, 2 2, Claremont. Claremont County, 6 5 Tango, 2 miles southeast, on the left downwind right now, 2 2. Uh, I'm going to follow Victor Tango, I'll be number 2 on the left downwind for 2 2. Okay, I got you inside now, too. We'll be uh, number 1 then. Alright, a lot of traffic, I am so
so wide. And he's flying super wide, so I'm just gonna follow him. I think it's one of those, I'm not super familiar with these planes, but it's those ones that have the super efficient wing. Velocity, maybe? That's what it looks like. Yeah, he's flying a jet pattern. Maybe he needs it. All right, we are two mile final. Cool looking plane, if he stops, I'll show you. All right, I gotta slow her down. He used all the runway, so maybe he needs it in that plane. Claremont County, Skyline 6167, Lima, final, runway 22, Claremont. Claremont 600, Tango, clear, up to 2, Claremont. Uh, that was Claremont 6767, uh, 706, Bravo, extending left downwind for the uh, landing scout. In there. Oh yeah, that's why. That's killer. That's the reason why it's so cool because it keeps there's cold air coming through here. <laughs> yeah. How well it worked. Here's what we bought. It is called the Forensic Detector CO2. It was a hundred bucks. It's supposed to be pretty good. I like the size of it. I probably, it's got a little 3M here, three mount. Five, six, one mile, five, we'll probably put it right here, somewhere over here. Let's head back to Dayton. Maybe go by Red Stewart. See if there's any snow on the runway and people are landing. Come on, going traffic to 366, turning left base, wrong way to do, climb on, going traffic. Claremont County, uh, red tri are departing 22 to the south, Claremont. It's uh, 25 miles to Red Stewart. We'll go see if there's anything going on there and then we'll head back to Moraine. So I'll see you when we get in the pattern there at, uh, at Red Stewart. Stewart traffic 25 Juliet and Red Base, Burnway 26. Red Stewart traffic. Got to keep your head on a swivel out here because they don't make radio calls uh, for the students. There it is. Up on the runway. Alright, let's land this. Stewart traffic, tri pacer left base, 2 6, full stop, Stewart. Stewart traffic, tri pacer final, 2 6, Stewart. I almost guarantee you're going to get some action here. If it's flyable, there'll be planes here flying. So it's it's a great airport. All right, sun's starting to peak out a bit more. And 
See four planes in the Stewart traffic pattern. Uh, two five Juliet, departing uh, one way two six. Red Stewart traffic. Do a soft field takeoff here. Good morning. Freight traffic, tri pacer 45, left downwind, 26, departing traffic in sight. Tri pacer on the downwind, we have you in sight, getting ready to turn. Low crosswind, runway 26, Marine. Got you standing in the pattern? Exit, sir, departing uh, pattern to the east, back to Springfield. Alright, have a good trip. Yes, sir, you too. All right, we're back home. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. So if any of you live in between Ohio and San Diego, the south route there, and uh, reach out to me. I'd love to meet you and uh, fly in. Maybe we can do some flying together on this trip coming up. So have a great one. Talk to you soon.